next presenter, Chin Liu Yang. Uh, please welcome Chin Liu Yang, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, Ms. Chin Lu Yang, she is from the School of Journalism and Communication in Peking University in Taiwan. Right. And today she is going to present about the Asia Teenager and the Asian Modernity, a perspective from two teenage movies, one in Taiwan and the other, and another one in Thailand. Alright, if you're ready, you can start. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Yang Xinru and I come from Taiwan. So today I would like to share some uh, interesting observation. I think it's about a teenage movie uh, in Taiwan and Thailand. Uh, my presentation includes five parts. Uh, to begin with, I will explain why First Love, the Thailand movie, become so well known in Taiwan. Then talk about a Taiwan movie which is also popular in Chinese movie market. After introduce these two cases, I will explain their reduction of cultural discount. It's based on Asian modernity but not cultural proximity. And then I will describe what an Asian teenager looks like. At final, I will discuss about one dimensional teenager is the Asia cultural industry and social network era. Okay, this is the first love a uh, Thai teenage romance movie. I think uh, a lot of Thai teenagers like this movie or have seen this movie. In fact, its box office was poor in Taiwan. There are two main reasons. First, the distributor market in Taiwan is controlled by Hollywood distributors. Although the distributor of this movie is good at importing, uh, importing Asian movies, but it st still cannot compete with the Hollywood distributors. Meanwhile, the consumers in Taiwan are used to watch Hollywood movies rather than Asian movies. But today, First Love is a very well-known movie in Taiwan among young people. You can find over 150 thousand blog results on Google if you key in first love in, in, in its Chinese title. Why? Because we are living in the era with kinds of media. With its touching story, first love become very prevalent through cable, DVD and internet. First, a cable channel called EBC Movie contribute most to the movie's awareness. The movie channel has re-aired the movie frequently. It has been aired 47 times, an uh, average of 5.0 times every month. Moreover, by dubbing First Love into Chinese, uh, the movie channel made the movie more acceptable for Taiwan audience. Second, internet is the other medium that made First Love easy to search for, to be assessed and spread. For example, there is a video on YouTube which had played 200,000 times in a year. A movie can be downloaded on the internet. Furthermore, if you search recommended Thai movie in Chinese, First Love is always mentioned as a must-see Thai romance movie. Although the internet does make piracy run wider, but it also makes a movie spread wider. Last is DVD. It cannot be tracked, but it's the media that must help the spread somehow. In sum, by this all media and its long tail feature, First Love become a non-mainstream but well-known Thai movie in Thailand. Despite the touching story itself and the help from the media, there must be other reasons cause its belated prevalence. In my opinion, one of the main reasons is its intertextuality to You Are the Apple of My Eye which is a Taiwanese blockbuster. And like First Love, it's, the, it's a teenage romance movie, too. Furthermore, uh, you are the ever of my eye aroused a trend of teenage movie. This picture is the timeline of the, uh, these two movies premiere at the uh, cinema and television. Um, first, you can uh, First Love is premiered at the, for, uh, at the beginning, at the 2011, and it's with a very bad box office. 
However, You Are the Apple of My Eye was premiere at the summer of the, of the same year. And then, after the popularity of You Are the Apple of My Eye, uh, a movie channel, a cable movie channel bought the copy and aired the first love on the TV. So it's become very famous because of the premiere on TV. First Love is a story about a girl has a secret crush on a boy. And You Are the Apple of My Eye is about five boys chasing after a girl. Both are simple romances that everyone have had uh, when we were teenagers. Some blogs refer First Love as the Thai version of you, you Are the Apple of My Eye. Their intertextuality lowers the barrier and the understanding of the acceptance. And this part is going to talk about You Are the Apple of My Eye as a blockbuster teen movie around the Chinese language movie market. The movie overwhelmed the Chinese language movie market, not only in Taiwan, but also in Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, Malaysia, and China. You Are the Apple of My Eye earned 8 million US dollars in Hong Kong, became the best sell Chinese language film ever, break a record previously held by Kung Fu Hostel, which is director and, act and started by famous Stephen Joe. In Singapore, the movie became the best sell Asian movie of 2011. In addition, although there are big interferes in China, which are delayed release, uh, four, minutes, four minutes of edit content and privacy, it, uh, piracy. It still became the best sell Taiwan movie ever in the Chinese, in the China, and made about 12 million US dollars at the back office. Moreover, You Are the Apple of My Eye aroused more attention among public opinion and popular culture than its box office. And the triumph of You Are the Apple of My Eye in Chinese language movie market should not be taken for granted. Although it's easy to consider those markets uh, as a single geocultural market refers to the Chinese market and think a uh, Chinese language market flows smoothly in these all regions. In fact, there is only few Chinese movie market can become blockbuster in all of those markets. I will show a box office gap in 2013 between this market later. In sum, the popularity of You Are the Apple of My Eye was a special case that deserves us further inspect. Um, the intertextuality between these two movies lower the disc, uh, cultural discount. Importantly, their intertextuality is based on Asian modernity rather than cultural proximity. Cultural discount is a concept about whether a cultural product will be accepted by other cultures depends on its cultural content. Cultural discount is an appropriate notion to illustrate the popularity of these two movies. In both cases, they avoid cultural discount successfully. There may be two aspects able to explain the phenomenon. Teenage, East Asia teenager based on modern uh, Asia modernity and cultural proximity. In this case, I believe it's because Asia modernity rather than cultural proximity. East Asia teenager is a teenager who may belong to wherever in East Asia, means you cannot tell the differences between a Thailand teenager or a Taiwan teenager. As you see the picture, there are teenagers in Korea, teenagers in Japan, teenagers in Taiwan and Thailand, and there are no differences. So the community of teenagers around East Asia is the core reason why these two movies became so wild accepted. There's no doubt uh, it can be analyzed from other aspects. In fact, globalization, re regionalization, and modernization are the basis of the Asian modernity. 
and Asian modernity is the basis of the Asian teenager. On the other hand, pro cultural proximity is a common and useful concept may explain the phenomenon. Cultural proximity states that audience prefer programs which are close to their own culture, but this theory is not the most appropriate way to explain the cases above. I'm going to prove my view by three points below. First, um, a, cult a traditional culture of Taiwan and Thailand is not, uh, is not similar. Indeed, compared to other culture in the world, Thai culture is more similar with, Thai, with Chinese culture. However, for a person who has lived in Asia, like you and me, or who understands Asia, knows these culture are different. Second, cultural discount exists among the Chinese market. This chart is the top 10 box office in China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. There's only one movie, the pink one. is uh, become the blockbuster in these three markets. Cultural discount does exist, even though they are based on a broader sense of Chinese culture. In other words, traditional cultural proximity did, did not reduce cultural discount as much as people thought it should be. Last, but most importantly, neither of these two movies is full of its own traditional culture. Conversely, the movie presents scenes full of modernity. For example, most of people uh, wear in this movie are either uniforms which was modernized like this, or casual outfits which is common and trendy in Asia. Traditional events and ceremonies still play an important role in our real life. But it will not show on this kind of movie because it would cause cultural discount. In conclusion, the proximity and inter intertextuality of these two movies are not from their own culture, but from Asian modernities. This section is going to describe what an Asian teenager looks like. Mario, the leading man in First Love, a mixed blood actor, who is very famous in Thailand, also is quite famous in Taiwan. <laughs> Interestingly, there is a very similar handsome standard in Taiwan. Although there is no mixed blood actor in You Are the Apple of My Eye, they were showing on the other movies. For example, Radiant is a very famous actor in Taiwan, and Vivian, a famous model in Taiwan. So as Daniel Wu in Korea. Those mixed blood are considered charming and handsome in East Asia society today. Unfortunately for girls, it is not a typical or common type for an Asia boy looks like. Um, the leading actress are the same type in these two movies, which are lovely students, white skin, skinny, and nice personality. Rather than choose an extremely beautiful actress, it prefer to choose a next door beauty in this kind of movie. Interestingly, unlike Western teenage, teenage movie, sexy is not considered beautiful in this kind of movie. And the clothing style in these two movies are very similar to uniform, t-shirt, sport, and sport uniform. Basically, you cannot tell which is from Taiwan, which picture is from Thailand and activities, play soccer, on a guard, English drama, English drama club, or buy a Coke, have an English class, handing out by a motorcycle, or are international or regional activities without traditional cultural uniqueness. And the unique teenager are disappearing on the big screen. This paper would like to notion it as one-dimensional teenager. One-dimensional teenager is borrowing and expanding the concept from one-dimensional man proposed by Marcuse, which I think most of you knew it well. The one-dimensional teenager in East Asia was created by East Asia cultural industry. 
The cultural industry was proposed by Adorno and Hochheimer, which I believe you knew it well too. Asian holidays have its own ability to build an East Asia cultural industry. The two movies are its products, and uh, being an industrial product is the reason why they are getting so popular widely. East Asia cultural industry presents one dimensional teenager on the big screen, and the only dimension is the modern Asia. It is not the Oriental Asia under the Western cultural imperialism anymore, but it is not the real Asia as well. Asia on the screen lacks unique culture, but is full of community regarding modern Asianness. And it's attract teenagers to model it and make it real in their modern life. The interaction of cultural industry and teenage teenagers reinforce the Asian modernity from big screen to life and then back to screen. And how about is the internet and social network change the dynamic? The social and the internet and social networks gave consumers power to choose and assess international entertainment products. The belated prevalence and spread of first love is an excellent example. However, in these cases, teenagers still choose movies that were created by cultural industry, since they are easy and comfortable to consume. Therefore, we find out that consumers is no longer controlled by international company. However, they are still under the big influence of, cap and of capitalism. Thank you for your listening. All right. Thank you very much. Uh